Hi, I'm Teresa Bennett, a business analyst performance improvement expert. I've worked in a corporate environment for 28 years, the last 18 as a business analyst MBA manager. As someone that has experience interviewing people for BA positions, I want to share some strategies and examples with you for being successful in interviews. You're searching for a job. You update your resume, post it online, and start the search. You find a few jobs that look interesting and apply for them. You get calls to interview for two of them. So did 20 other people. From the moment you decide to start the job search, you should have an interview process in place that includes specific strategies that's going to help you stand out in the crowd. An interview process isn't just for companies or hiring managers to have. You need to define and develop your own process. Looking for a new position can be stressful and time consuming. If you don't have a consistent process that you're following, you'll end up with little to nothing to show for your efforts, except additional stress. I have 10 strategies for you that will help you develop your specific interview process. So let's go ahead and take a look at one of those strategies. Strategy number eight is display your skills with concrete examples. Don't make the mistake that I've seen many people make when I'm conducting interviews. Don't tell someone what you do, show them. One of the best strategies you can use is to give concrete examples using action verbs to demonstrate your skills to the interviewer. I call these success stories. To help you with those stories, I also want to give you a set of 200 action verbs that you can choose from to show the interviewer that you do have the skills that they are looking for. So let me give you an example of what I mean when I'm talking about action verbs and a success story. If I were the one being interviewed and somebody asked me to explain my process for analyzing requirements to determine if a particular requirement was complete, I could answer that in a couple of different ways. So the first way I could answer it is I could say, well, I look at each of the requirements and I ask myself if there's anything missing here, any part of this that isn't clear. If there is, I know I need to go back to the requirement owner and get clarification from them. Or I could answer it in this way. I start by breaking down the requirement. Let me give you an example so that I can explain what I mean by that. We may have a requirement that says, we need a report with customer contact information. I'm gonna start by breaking down that requirement into the different parts that it has. I look at, we need a report as one part of the requirement and needing customer contact information as a second part of the requirement. Next, I'm going to identify places in the requirement where I can make assumptions. For example, how often is the report needed? That's not part of the requirement. What information needs to be included in the contact information? Is it email address, phone number, street address? I also want to examine why they need this report. Why they need it could impact the entire requirement. To me, a report sounds like the solution to an underlying problem. Asking what the report will be used for may identify a completely different requirement. So now you see that example that I used? I used action verbs to make my answer more powerful and show the interviewer that I have strong analysis skills. Let's go back for just a second and let me identify for you those action verbs in case you missed some of them. The first action verb I used was breaking down. I said I was gonna break down the requirement. Then I said I was going to identify information, then examine why they needed a report, and then I also stated that why they need it could impact the entire requirement. So using those four verbs, so breaking down, identify, examine, and impact. By using those, I made my statement more powerful and it helped the interviewer actually visualize what I was talking about. So now how much more powerful was that example over the first one? 
Do you even remember the first one? Probably not. If you want your answer to stay in the interviewer's mind, even after they've interviewed other people, you're going to need your answer to be powerful. A weak answer will be forgotten as soon as you're out the door, if not before then. So take these 10 interview strategies and the action verbs that I have for you and use those in your interview process that you are setting up or should be setting up if you are currently looking to make a change in your job situation. Go ahead and click the button that you see on the screen and you can download the report and the action verb list completely free as my gift to you to help you with your job search.